This video shows you why the Toronto Raptors rookie Scotty Barnes is the real deal. The all-around game Barnes had against the Knicks put him in Hall of Fame company as he became the first Raptor rookie since Tracy McGrady to record at least 10 points, 15 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks in a single game. Scotty was all over the glass, scoring in the post like a poised veteran, and he shot an efficient 6 of 12 from the field. It's the type of outing that's become familiar to the Raptors' fourth overall pick. So stay tuned to see every reason why Barnes is legit, whether or not he's the current Rookie of the Year favorite, and my player comparison for the man's potential. Before continuing, only 13.4% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. The game from Barnes vs. New York displayed every quality that the recently turned 20-year-old has been excelling at during his short time at the pro level thus far. He showed off his 2020 vision by dropping slick dimes like this. The Raptors have been missing both of their centers in Precious Achua and Kem Birch, so Scotty has been fluently rotating to block shots as the team's rim protector. He was taking it coast to coast in transition like Giannis, and throwing it down with beastly athleticism. As I was chanting defense a few rows back, watch this insane possession from Barnes, where he sticks with and locks up RJ Barrett, then instinctively puts a body on the cutting OB Toppin, stuffing his shot to the backboard mercilessly. The scary part about Scotty on this end of the floor isn't just his 7'3 wingspan, but it's how he's genuinely passionate about being the best defensive player he can be that makes him a nightmare to score on. Barnes seems to enjoy every aspect of the NBA so far, but defense is evidently where he's having the most fun. Scotty's maybe the most impactful defensive rookie I've seen in all my years of watching the NBA. To help beat the Knicks in a crucial home win for the Raptors, giving Toronto the same record as New York, putting them half a game back of qualifying for the play-in tournament, Scotty Barnes was the most impressive player on the floor. What's potentially revolutionary about Scotty's game is that he can guard positions 1 through 5 with his versatility. The man's capable of filling any role or position that Coach Nick Nurse asks of him. Toronto's main challenge in this game was shutting off the paint, and Barnes was a key figure in forcing missed shots at the basket and keeping possessions alive with his rebounding. The only thing you want more of is for Barnes to feel that same urgency and permission to take over more often. On a night where his veterans didn't have it, Barnes should have taken more than 12 shots. Speaking on his rookie's play, Toronto's veteran point guard Fred Van Vliet said, I'm hard on him. He's going to be a really good player in this league. He has a really, really high ceiling. He's definitely one of my more challenging projects that I've had, but he makes some plays sometimes that you know you can see the vision and the feel and some stuff that is hard to teach. He had a lot of big plays tonight. There's nothing he can't do on the court. End quote. When asked about what makes Barnes a challenging project, Fred explained that young players must go through a quote, growing process and can often struggle with mental lapses. Fred said, you just kinda gotta keep clapping and tell him good job when you know he's out there. I'm on his butt about being great and he's been steadily improving all year, so I think that's going to be huge for us going forward. End quote. Barnes is now averaging 15.1 points, 8.3 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 1.2 steals, and 0.9 blocks per game on the year. Among first-year players, he ranks second in scoring, first in rebounding, fifth in assists, third in steals, and second in blocks. Additionally, his four double-doubles have tied him with Cade Cunningham for second most among rookies. Through the quarter mark of the season, the NBA global staff had Barnes as the frontrunner for the Rookie of the Year, holding a slight edge over Cavaliers big man Evan Mobley. He's only 24 games into his career, but Barnes has quickly proven himself to be a potentially generational talent if he stays on track. Entering this year's NBA draft, the distinctiveness of Scotty Barnes as a prospect made NBA comparisons difficult to make. I mean, how is it possible to project the upside of a 6'9 point guard in a power forward's body that can do a little bit of everything on each end of the floor? Is he like Draymond Green, Boris Diaw? Will he not live up to the potential and become someone like Jabari Parker? Those names were pre-draft comparisons and showed the scope of what experts thought Barnes could end up developing into. Conversely, the best player-to-player -player comparison is one that would have seemed outlandish ahead of the draft, but a quarter of the way through Scotty's rookie year, and it's impossible to ignore the shades of Giannis Adetokounmpo in his game. 
That becomes clear when he's fooling young players by making veteran-esque spin moves, leading to jams like this. It's hard to imagine any other player than Adetokounmpo when watching Barnes spin through the lane for a dunk, or more impressively go coast to coast with three dribbles for a transition slam. Three damn dribbles to go the length of the court. Just think about that. The special mix of reach and springiness possessed by both Adetokounmpo and Barnes allows them to do things that other NBA players aren't physically capable of doing. While that makes for a great comparison between the two on the surface, the similarities go much deeper. To be clear, I'm not guaranteeing Barnes is going to become a two-time MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and Finals MVP like Giannis did in his first eight seasons, but I'm not not guaranteeing it either. <laughs> That's based off the fact that Adetokounmpo's ascension to one of the top players in our game is the greatest example of exponential growth and the term I love to use so much, steady progression, in the history of the league. And it isn't ridiculous by any stretch of the imagination to say that Barnes is a much more advanced player than Adetokounmpo was at a similar point in his career. It's worth noting the reality that Scotty and Giannis inherited completely different circumstances as rookies. Giannis was picked 15th overall by a Bucks team that had qualified for the playoffs a year prior, finding himself in and out of the starting lineup as a developmental project. Conversely, Scotty was the fourth pick by the Raptors, who are in the process of ushering in a new era of basketball after achieving the ultimate glory of winning a championship in the previous era. Of course, Barnes will be the focal point, working under a reputable Toronto player development program in the coming years, and Scotty entered the league as a much more polished product, more ready to contribute at an NBA level than Giannis did. To be fair, Barnes was 20 years old before playing his first NBA season, while Adetokounmpo made his NBA debut at age 18 and didn't celebrate his 20th birthday until December of his sophomore season. Even still at the same age, Adetokounmpo's output in the second year of his NBA career wasn't fully up to par with the level of what we've seen from Barnes during his rookie campaign. While Adetokounmpo's averages of 17, 7.7, 7, and 4.3 in his third season bear resemblance to Scotty's rookie numbers, Giannis made the all-star leap in year four and was named MVP two seasons later. Just like the exponential growth from Giannis should serve as a result of his work ethic, along with Milwaukee's developmental staff, it should also be a cause for Raptor fans to be excited for what's to come for their rookie star. Not only for this season, but for the next decade. Additionally, the mentality that Barnes possesses also relates to the ruthlessness, focus, and dedication that we've seen from Giannis, which shows up in the box score and, of course, in the film. While the parallels with the Nedekumpo will forever be there, Barnes is in a position to carve out his own journey in the NBA as the Raptors' next face of the franchise. The quick ascension to stardom is only just getting underway, and fans in the Six should be damn excited about their young gun in Scotty B. What's the most exciting aspect about Barnes in your opinion? Best answer gets next video shoutout. The top three commenters with the most shoutouts by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is FYI Sin, who says, The overwhelming threat to me is that they're already knowing the Warrior system. Poole and JTA are already flourishing in the Warrior system, and if Wiseman comes back, he's in the second year, so he's going to know the system more, which is really scary. Thanks for every great take. Hope all of you watching have a great one. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.